So we want to talk about the six stages of fasting, okay? All right, the first stage is between 8 to 14 hours. That's when your blood sugar starts stabilizing. You are starting to use up your sugar in your blood as well as your stored sugar called glycogen. That's what happens in the first 8 to 14 hours. Now, at the 10th hour, your muscles are using about 50% glucose and 50% fat. So you're in the very start of this transition from going from sugar burning to fat burning. All right, next one, 14 hours to 24 hours. The liver's gonna be turning your fat into ketones and your cravings are gonna go down. Your energy is gonna go up. You're gonna start noticing uh, improvements in your mood, less anxiety, um, et cetera, and more cognitive function, more focus, memory, and concentration. All right, next stage, 24 hours to 36 hours. This is where you have a full keto state. You're in fat burning. The liver is cranking out ketones. Uh, your appetite is pretty much gone. You have this drop in ghrelin, which is why you have no appetite. And then you also have a spike in something called BDNF. That's brain-derived neurotrophic factor where your brain cells are starting to grow. You're actually getting new brain cells. That's pretty cool. The next stage is the fourth stage, and this is between 36 to 48 hours. This is when you get into some serious autophagy, but in stage four, you're getting a lot of autophagy. Autophagy is a, a process or a condition where your body is recycling old proteins, damage proteins, microbes in the body, and it's recycling them into new proteins. So you're, you're actually cleaning the body and your body's becoming very efficient in using some of the old stuff that's not needed for replacement parts as well as fuel. So you're getting a lot of repair happening, a, a lot of recycling. And also when you do autophagy, you're actually killing cancer cells as well. That's pretty cool. There's also a decrease in oxidative stress. So, you know, you have pollution, you have radiation, you have all these things in your environment that is creating oxidation. Well, when you fast, you actually have less of those effects. You also have a decrease in misfolding proteins. Now, what is that? That has to do with um, proteins becoming denatured or damaged, so you can't use them. So this happens many times when you're combining a protein and sugar together or a fat and sugar together, you're actually getting a lot of damaged proteins and they kind of clog everything up and it can lead to chronic uh, diseases like Alzheimer's and chronic inflammation. And so your body is um, kind of cleaning up all these proteins that are unusable. Um, they're just damaged and they just sit there and take up space. Also in this phase, you're getting more memory improvement. Okay, stage five, between 48 to 60 hours. At this point, your insulin sensitivity is, is doing really, really good. So because you have such a drop in insulin, that insulin resistance problem that you had is going away. You're getting a super boost in normalizing your insulin receptors. You're getting more autophagy, less inflammation, and you're getting healing from atrophy. So let's say you had uh, atrophy because you're menopausal and uh, it looks like fat, but it's really a loss of muscle. Uh, that's all gonna start healing at this point. And you're also getting protein sparing. So your body's not gonna go after your muscles as fuel. They're being protected, okay? Now, where are you getting this protein to help heal? Well, from the autophagy. Your body's taking this old damaged protein, converting it into new protein, to actually heal atrophy. And that's really cool. All right, stage six, between 60 and 72 hours. This is when the immune system really uh, shines. You get immune system regeneration. You get a spike in immune stem cells that are undifferentiated cells that don't necessarily have a purpose. Now they have a purpose of making new immune cells. There was a study in 2014 that, uh, that demonstrated that a 72 hour fast led to a near complete rejuvenation of the immune system, plus 
people that were on chemotherapy had a lot less damage, okay? So there you have it, the six stages of fasting. Hey, before you go real quick, I have a course entitled How to Bulletproof Your Immune System. It's a free course. I want you to take it, and here's why. Here's you. Here is your environment. Everyone is focused on this over here, avoiding your environment. But what about here? What about strengthening your immune system? That's what's missing. This course will show you how to bulletproof yourself. And so you can tolerate and resist your environment much better by strengthening your own immune system. I put a link down in the description right down below. Check it out and get signed up today.